Andy Walker with Butterscotch.com here uh, at the LG booth at CES 2011 here with Frank Lee. And uh, we're wearing these crazy glasses because LG, of course, has an, a 3D uh, TV story. Yep. And unlike some of your competitors, you guys are going with a, what's called passive glasses. Tell me That's about right. that. Yeah, we're continuing with our active glasses for 3D, yeah. but we're now offering the choice of also passive referring to it as Cinema 3D, basically that cinematic experience that you're having in the theaters, yeah. you would now have in the home. Right, so so I have a choice here whereby the passive glasses, are they're not powered. Right. They're very, I guess they're very affordable. They're very affordable. Relative to, because the, the active ones have batteries in them and they're yes, a couple right. hundred bucks a piece, right? Yeah. And uh, what are the other advantages? I guess there's no blur? Well, yeah, yeah the, the, from, so on the glass, very light, very affordable. Yeah. And then from the performance standpoint, you're getting no blur, no flicker, and you're getting a brighter image. Right, of right. course, because it's less processing or That's right. going on inside of the glasses. This yeah. is just polarization, right? That's right. And it's circular polarization so that when you're lying on the side, oh, you, you don't know, actually you yeah. don't lose the effect. Right. Because right, that, that is a problem, right? With, with the active glasses that are powered, what happens is when you go on the side, you usually lose one of the eyes, That's don't right. you? Something like that? Yeah. This is vertical, horizontal kind of idea. Right, right. That's amazing stuff. Yeah. So all LG uh, well, most of the LG uh, 3D TVs are now dealing with passive, are they? That's right. You're going to have the choice across LCD and LED, yeah. whether you want uh, 3D through active shutter glasses yeah. or passive. On the plasma side, we're only offering the active because of the fact that you don't want to add another filter to, to kill the brightness. Of course. So you're going to have choice. It really comes down to what is the most comfortable and also gives you the most immersive experience. Right. Um, the 3D effect is actually different from individual to individual. Yes. In fact, just like color blindness, yeah. there's about 10% of the world's population that can't see the 3D effect at all. Really? Regardless oh. of the technology. See, they don't tell you that every day. Right, right. That's good. That's a nice, nice tip. Thank you for being generous about telling people that. You know, <laughs> may lose some customers, but I think people will appreciate that little tip, you know? Good stuff. Okay, so would you recommend people go to the store, try a passive, try active, see if they can even see 3D in the first place? Right. The, the, the key thing is do your research, right? Yeah. Read the reviews, see the articles written out there, and get a sense of what type of products are resonating with you. But when you're doing the research, it's really about creating a checklist. Yeah. Is a home theater experience important for you? How do you rate that? Find out what's, in, what's, what's important to you and your family and then once you figure out what those things are, it then will pretty much tell you, are you going for a type of television? And then what type of 3D technology? Those things will all come into play and help the steer you in the right direction. And then shop by experience. Try on the glasses, get the remote in your hand, and experience it for yourself. Right, and it'll be easy to make a decision from there. That's right. There you go. Insider tips from LG. Frank Lee from LG, and we're gonna find out more about 3D TV from LG at www.lge.com. LGE.com. There you go. That's uh, LG at CES 2011. I'm Andy Walker.